Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Our guest today is Alia Alatlul. She is the sister of the Saudi activist Lujain Alatlul, who's been in prison for two and a half years without trial because of her activism in favor of the women of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, which is preparing to host a G20 summit, at least virtually because of the coronavirus pandemic. Alia Alatlul, I want to thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Your sister, uh, who's been in jail for more than two years, has decided to begin a hunger strike uh, late October. Why did she decide to do that? Indeed, she started uh, a hunger strike uh, because she is not allowed to have regular contact with her parents. And uh, she saw that also other prisoner uh, 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 on her case, um, they are allowed to have this regular contact. So uh, she, she said that it is her right to have this regular contact. Uh, she's normally allowed to have a weekly call to my parents, and it's not guaranteed anymore for the past uh, almost uh, a year. It, there, there are some contacts on off, on off, but not regular contacts. Are you worried uh, for her health? She tried a hunger strike, but for a short period uh, a while ago. Uh, this has now going, been going on for several weeks. Uh, do you have information and are you worried? She started a hunger strike a while ago because also for the same reason, she was not allowed to have access to her parents uh, and to my parents. And uh, my parents visited her uh, six days after starting the hunger strike and they saw uh, how uh, bad she was. So of course, today we are very worried and especially that we contacted the director of the prison, we, uh, we contacted the Minister of Justice, we contacted the uh, Saudi Commission for Human Rights, asking for uh, her uh, to see how she's doing, if she's okay, if she's alive, and uh, they do not answer us. The only answer we got is that we are considering your request, we will check it and we'll come back to you and they never came back to us. You spoke uh, last year here about uh, the torture uh, she had uh, endured, uh, including uh, possible uh, acts of uh, sexual harassment and, and so on. I mean, do you have any evidence that uh, this bad treatment has continued or has it stopped for the past month? Uh Evidence we don't have, but at least in her contacts, uh, physical contacts, when they're, uh, they're allowed to see her physically, she didn't mention uh, further uh, um, uh, physical abuses. There are lots of um, mental uh, pressure, psychological pressure, but uh, not uh, uh, electrocution as she used to have uh, before. Right. Uh, I mean, I imagine you're in touch with your parents. Uh, they're in Saudi Arabia, uh, so they're not able uh, to communicate uh, with her. Uh, how are they uh, feeling right now? Are they feeling under uh, pressure? Are they worried? What do they feel like? Of course, uh, she is their daughter, so they are worried about her. My parents, they are very strong. Uh, I prefer not to talk a lot about them, but I'm proud of them and uh, they are very strong people. So um, I hope thankfully that they are this uh, have this uh, solid mental uh, capacity. Right. Uh, obviously, uh, this uh, decision to go on a hunger strike uh, is uh, happening as uh, the country is about to host, as I said, the G20. We've seen many human rights organizations, mayors of uh, large cities uh, in Western uh, Europe, uh, in, in the US, the European Parliament, the UN, uh, Committee on Women's Rights uh, call uh, for uh, Lujain to be released from jail as well as other uh, women activists. Do you think uh, that the time is now, that this is the time to put pressure on the regime because of the G20 summit? Yes, of course, they, they, uh, they need to put pressure on it. And Saudi Arabia is really thriving to have this summit. So, uh, I mean, it is the opportunity for Saudi Arabia, for, for uh, the leaders of the world to put pressure on Saudi Arabia. And also it is uh, the opportunity for Saudi Arabia 
at least for the summit to renew its image. So I think it is a good opportunity for everyone to get um, uh, to make this step uh, to talk to Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia needs to be uh, uh, doing the right thing. Right. Uh, obviously, uh, this is essentially a political uh, decision. And uh, the G20 is about heads of state and heads of government commingling uh, together. Are you calling on uh, Western leaders, let's say, the French president, uh, to actually bring the issue of Lujain and the other activists with uh, King Salman or Crown Prince Mohammed Ben Salman, and not just through statements, but face to face? Of course, because uh, Saudi Arabia has uh, allies. So uh, Western allies, uh, there are the strongest uh, Saudi allies. And Saudi Arabia uh, is not a country by itself. It's a country that has a connection, interconnections with other countries. And uh, of course, they can get, they can influence other countries. Other countries can influence them. And every no knows that and i think it is uh, the responsibility of leaders to to to, to exert uh, pressure on saudi arabia and i feel bad to, uh, to say that because uh, i would like my own leaders to take the steps uh, to release my sister and the other activists without um, uh, getting under this pressure unfortunately they didn't do it uh, um very hopeful that they will do the right thing very soon. And uh, nevertheless, I also uh, hope that uh, leaders of the world, uh, especially uh, close leaders to Saudi Arabia, um, do do something good for, for Saudi people uh, as well. Right. Uh, obviously, uh, talking about a uh, close ally, probably the closest allies is the United States of America. Uh, President uh, Donald Trump has been uh, very kind, let's put it this way, uh, with the Saudi regime, especially in the wake of uh, the murder of uh, the Saudi journalist uh, Jamal Khashoggi in uh, Turkey. He's been accused by many of essentially protecting uh, the uh, king and uh, the crown prince. Uh, we're seeing uh, probably a transition in the White House. Joe Biden, uh, the new president, or at least the president-elect, has already said that he wants to reset, reshape the relationship with Saudi Arabia. Are you putting some hopes on him telling the king, the crown prince, that they have to do much, much better when it comes to human rights and women's rights in particular? So um, how I see it, I see that Saudi Arabia is fearing the new uh, American administration. Uh, as you said, Joe Biden also uh, expressed that he would like to reshape the relationship with Saudi Arabia. So what I hope is that Saudi leaders become smarter at this step, at this stage, and do re and release my sister and the other uh, women in order to to re-engage with their own people because they stop engaging with their own people and give a positive sign to the American administration saying that we still allies, we would like to work together, we would like to have uh, a normalized relationship and not a tension uh, in our relationship. So I I would like to, to, to call my leaders, my Saudi leaders, to say, this is the time. Do not embarrass yourself anymore and release uh, my sister, Le release Lujain and the other activists, because you will have, I mean, you fear the American administration. Why staying, uh, why um, keeping this fears? Do something in order to, to improve your conditions and your image as well. And uh, yeah, to, to have, uh, to gain trust again, though I, I believe it's hard, but uh, I think they need to uh, have a new page and start uh, to have a, a, a fresh start. Right, uh, Alia, just the, the last question, uh, a question you must have asked yourself a hundred times. Uh, this seems a bit schizophrenic. Uh, your sister was an outspoken activist. Uh, she was arrested because uh, she decided to drive when it was banned, uh, but she was put in prison just a few weeks before driving was allowed. Uh, some rules uh, have been uh, relaxed, uh, but it seems schizophrenic that at the same time the rules are relaxed, but activists are thrown in jail. How do you explain this? 
It explains that the, the Saudi regime, uh, they are doing reforms, not because they would like to do reforms. It's just out of, uh, to improve their image outside Saudi Arabia. This is the first reason. And then they would like to silence anyone who asks uh, to improve uh, their conditions. So uh, by uh, having this law allowing women to drive, of course, Lujain and the other activists succeed in their um, combat. So uh, it's not good for the, the government. They would like to, uh, to, to say that they decide by everything, but it, this is, can never uh, be able to, 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 they can never uh, be able to, to, to silence everyone. So um, when we see uh, the charges against Lujain, the charges are really absurd, and uh, it's uh, I don't feel them like at uh, charges. So um, uh, of course, uh, I'm I'm very sad to see Saudi Arabia in this position. They are trying to improve their image, but on the other hand, they destroying everything, all the trust people they have on them by uh, by jailing people just uh, because of their opinion, and sometimes just because they asking for uh, good things. So this, the situation in Saudi Arabia needs to change. Alia Latloul, thank you very much uh, for being with us here on France 24. And thank you for watching this edition of the interview. Stay tuned for more news.